Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Aziza. I'm reading today for the sign of Gemini for love and relationship for the third week of July. Dear Gemini, you have been really focused on business. You have been focused on business. You have been really working very hard the past like in a few months a lot. And you have become like no really moody a little bit here. You are moody. Moody about what exactly here? Because I get here that you have a good career on you or if you have a business, it's really going to really go up more and more. If you get paid 100 right now, next month you're going to get paid 200, 300, and it's going to go like you no know, up and up. And your business is going to be like, you know, really very prosperous. So if you are worried about your business, it's going to provide a lot. But you find yourself like, you know, in a period of time, like you know, looking for love, looking for happiness, looking for fun, because this is all what you do. You bury yourself behind work because you don't want to feel like, you know, the excitement or the pain from another person. There is a person that you are with at this time and you feel like, you know, really very good about him or her. Then you become undecided. Is he or he cheating? Is he or she cheating on me? Did they let go like you no know, other people from the past? Are they like you no know, doing something or not? But you yourself like you no, know, you find like you no, know, there is a true love that came to you from the past that you want really to be with that person. That's you. And your person can really, like, you know, the, the person that you are committed with could be a husband, could be a wife, okay, or in a committed relationship, boyfriend, girlfriend, okay? It's like a husband and wife. Let's call it husband and wife. They can sense on you that you love the other person and they don't know what to do. They can be really, really worried. It says here, okay, about you, Gemini, that your person, the one you live with, in a commitment with, they think that my Gemini is already cheating with someone else and they are jealous. They have some jealousy here, but they keep it to themselves. They are not really saying because they don't see you doing anything. You tell yourself here that, you know, okay, I am committed to this person, but there is that love appear in the picture and open my heart again. Because, dear Gemini, you are, uh, sometimes you get like, you know, in the, caught up in the emotions and the feelings. And you feel like you know, sometimes from working a lot and doing a lot of things, you are not really feeling anything, even if you are in a loving relationship. But you feel like you know, sometimes your, your emotions or feelings like you know, shut off, like everything is so plain. There is no excitement. So the person that you loved before here, Come in the picture and you are like, oh my God, this is it. Uh, what am I supposed to do? Shall I just leave like, you know, my person right now and be with, this, with the one like, you know, give me that excitement in my heart. You get caught up in the excitement. And this person like, you know, is forthcoming, forthcoming. They keep really coming to you and, and talking and opening up and you are like, oh my God, it's really great. Then suddenly you become like, the relationship stands still now. That person I love is in silent mood. What happened? And you are like, after you want it really like you know, to be, uh, you become moody on the person that you are with right now. You wanted to leave them. You wanted to stay with them. You are waiting for your person to cheat or do something. So you will say, okay, goodbye. Because you know that you are in love with someone else. And you are like, I don't know. I'm undecided. What, what shall I do? 
Now, that person who showed up in the picture again that you love, or give you that massive, beautiful energy and excitement, didn't do anything, didn't contact or anything like that, and you say, oh, thank God I did not make that mistake like not to leave the person I'm with. That doesn't mean that you don't love the spouse or the one you are committed with. You love them so much and you're still protective over them. You don't want this person to go to someone else. Because I see that love, but you don't feel that excitement. The other person give you the excitement. This is number two, give you the excitement. Number one, who is in, in your life. And you are like, um, but number two, still with someone else. What am I supposed to do? What am I doing? You know, you... You are kind of like, okay, you know what? I'm going to focus on my business at this time because I don't want number two to distract me because a year ago or last year or something like that, you know, they drain you so much waiting for that person to leave the other person and it did not happen. You wanted a progress. You wanted like this person to touch your hand or kiss you or hold you or, or to be intimate, for example, but it did not happen. And you waited, so you took your spouse back. <laughs> which is number one. But number two, it's like the same. They showed up in, in the picture, they confused my head, my emotions, and I'm thinking about them already, but there is that silent mood now. What happened? That's the way it is. The love in the heart. They are not doing anything. But sometimes it wakes you up, like, you know, just to feel the love again. Don't forget yourself or neglect yourself. Burying yourself, like, you know, behind work only. Work is good if you focus on it, you know, you succeed, you are doing really good. And money situation is going to be really great. But you have that worry. Is the person I'm with at this time, number one, doing something bad to me? Are they cheating? Are they doing something? Where did all of this, like, you know, really come from suddenly? It's because as soon as you saw number two, you start to rush I'm going to leave my marriage, that's it. You know what? That's the rushing. Jumping into conclusions really very quick. You are rushing. And you say, I'm going to leave that, my marriage. And this person is going to leave the other person and they're going to come to me. Possibly this other person in their life, uh, in, in number two life, you know, have uh, their person like, you no, know, not feeling very well. Possibly something bad will happen to them. Um, that's it. I'm going to, you did that last year. Don't do it again. Not yet. Everything happened in in time. The divine, like, you know, or the uh, the universe, like, you know, that will, will do things for your own benefit. You need not to panic or freak out. Stand still in your situation at this time. Do your work, your effort. You don't have to expect or rush into doing an effort with number two for them to be in your life and uh, isolate your marriage or your current uh, committed relationship because that person says, say, hey, or hello to you or touch your your hand or your arm or your shoulder, don't do that. It's like you start really to stress. Am I divorcing? Is, is my husband or wife going to be really like, you know, really fooling around? I will kick them out in, in a heartbeat because this other person showed me like no more interest than last year and, and, and they are like you know, trying to be with me. You are in a rush or a panic that's causing stress. You don't need to change anything at this time. You need to relax. If number two wants to do something, they have to do it themselves. You did all the effort last year and nothing happened. So don't rush into that moment again. It's not yet. Don't do anything. Number one, which is the person who is com committed to you, I get here they are really very protective over you. They are willing to do really work or effort at this time and meet you halfway because you have been really, dear Gemini, doing the whole effort for your number one person, financially, materially, everything. And number one is trying to do an effort for you again. Like, you know, they are trying to work, have a business, something like that. And they say here, rest assured that this person is really coming your way to do a lot. And they are protective over you too. They are protective over your money. Before they used to spend your money, they did not uh, uh, value the money that you are doing and how much hard you are working with. They changed. There is a big change on them. So your person, number one, it seems to be that they want to move forward with you more. So 
things are coming to a place or a time, a right timing right now that what you wanted or desire with number one who's committed to you to be like you no know, really responsible because you felt like you know that you were doing things alone now num which is the person you are with is want like you no know, they see how much hard you work and they they thought about themselves and they wanted to do something they have a good career on them and they are starting like you no know, want to be really doing something Like they are buying also like a truck or it could be a trailer or something like you know, to do some work, like you know, required to their work. Talented about something that they do and you, they have a good career on them. They want really you to stop really worrying about how you provide the money, how long you're going to be really doing that money. Your person is really sincere. That's number one. To meet you halfway and they come like you know, to that conclusion it's not really you that you should provide all of that they want really to provide things for you and the person because you did a lot with them they want to buy you some kind of like a piece of gold to reward you buy you a gift because you've done a lot or you could be like you know, really had a piece of gold long time ago or pieces of gold and you sold them to help this person financially and now they feel that they want to reward you and and buy you the gold that you lost or you could be lending money for your person a long time ago and they spend it and you dwelled on it and now this person wants to give you your money back that's number one we are talking about the one you are committed in re the relationship so the universe is trying to tell you, okay, the person that you wanted all the time to change and you left because they have some faults or something not really right. This person is meeting you halfway right now. So why you want to be with the other person? And you are like, I don't know. I didn't really do anything. Number two showed up in my life and suddenly I, but why they have to show up? For some of you, it's a test. To test like you know, your love for number one. For some of you, because you are kind of like doing everything and the other person is not changing and you need like you know, just to walk away and change your direction. But it says here it is wrong to change your direction at this time until you see number two doing a real effort. Not really like knock knock I'm here. You have to see a real effort because you don't want to do the same mistake that you did last year. This person number two is not done with you. They're going to keep coming to you and message you and talk to you. It looks to me that, you know, they want really to provide really the love, like you know, to enjoy the love with you because they still love you and they think about you a lot. But you are like, I learned my lesson from the past. I'm not going to jump into conclusions. And you feel like, you know, maybe I should just close that door on number two because it didn't really get me anywhere and now it's confusing the heck out of me again and I don't know what to do maybe I should just look into myself good if you want to do that because that person is still with another person you have a good energy at work at this time like you attract business to you and everything number two involve with someone and uh, their relationship with someone else like you know, that they are trying to push them away from you that person knows and aware of the energy about their person coming after you they can feel that energy and they are trying like you know, to push them away to distract them so you will be disappointed with your effort and your love um, this person is really um, very jealous person we are talking about Number two is involved with someone else and that someone else is jealous of you and they want their person to stay away from you. They want to hurt you deliberately. They know what's going on. They know that their person loves you and wants you. It's a true love. Tell you, honestly, it's a very beautiful, beautiful, radiant love. But that person is trying to remove that person away from you 
and keep them away, distract them with something else. So you will be disappointed and you will be hurting. They are looking at you hurting and they are enjoying your misery. If you see the couple, number two and the couple, like you know that uh, their person with uh, with uh, with uh, with them again, like you know, together, you gonna see that you know this uh, number two person. Well, they will put on that act and show that they are happy, they are laughing, but it's fake because number two is not enjoying their relationship and they are not happy with it. But let's say number uh, you are a female, Gemini, and number two is a male, and they have a woman in their life, and that woman deliberately wants to hurt you, deliberately, and wants to show you that there is nothing there. He doesn't love you. He doesn't care for you to make you suspicious. But it's not true. Like, you know, they are just playing games with you. It says here you are lucky. You will get your wish. You are getting your wishes like you know, all over. Because this is the time that, you know, love is around you from every angle, every corner. You attract anyone right now. Your energy is in its place. Like, you no, know, it's really working great. Number one, the one you are involved with, that you were separated and you took them back. It could be a husband and wife, you know, something like that. You wanted them to change and dramatically and you wanted things to happen, but you couldn't win no matter what. Now you win. This person is changing. The person that you feel the excitement with, number two, you want them to come after you on everything. And they did. And they want approach you. And the universe, like we showed you, don't doubt yourself, Gemini. This person always loved you, always wanted you, always to be with you, but you didn't think so because of their behavior. Their behavior, they were afraid of the other party, the other person. That's why they were hiding from you and they didn't really want to come forward. And that person in their life is really a very jealous person. And, you know, they might be even like to do some energy work on you or they could be really like sending you some um, negative, like that negative uh, uh, some magic spells, anything like that. They want just like you know to control you, and they are they are happy for your misery. When they see you sad and upset, and uh, you are not happy with your current relationship or not happy in life, and they see the sadness in you, they enjoy the, your misery. Be careful because this person is really very miserable, which is belong to number two. That person is very. Uh, miserable and they want to reflect their misery on you to tell you see my person loves me he doesn't love you, love you Gemini but you know what this is fake and all of it lies so you need to be aware of these energies around you your person return to you they realize the love very strong but they have been really just call to you or ignore you lately because you said like no it's freeze number two is not coming anymore because they want on a trip they want on a trip they can be really busy not really too reliable and you felt like you know the negative that this person doesn't really love you or anything don't feel the negative that negative coming from their person to you and you feel like you know, maybe they are cold mm -mm. This person number two is jealous of your spouse or current relationship you have also. They don't want you to be with that person because they want to be in their place. Okay, you want to be in their place, try harder. This person haven't been trying harder, but they send you like you know, some negative energy from there. And they are like, uh -huh. I'm supposed to be with you, dear Gemini. That's number two. Not the person that you have in relationship. Why you don't just walk away because they want you to walk away? I see you rising up like you know, about really your choices at this time and you feel like you know that if you want to be with me, number two, do better. Try harder because the person I'm with at this time, they are the one who win. Why they win? Because they are the one who's really there for you and want to be with you. Well, dear Gemini, I hope you enjoy your reading. And if you need a private reading, please contact me on mysticalaziza.com. That's my website link. And it's really below this video. 
and when you click on my website you will get all the information you need how to purchase a reading or to call me and thank you so much for watching bye bye